The blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which were well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim to Sadakim that do this thing in the ammo is truth and sincerity. On the pre Shaman, this week's topic is going to be entitled, Wow, He's Ashamed of Yahweh Shai. And the inspiration for the show comes from the fact that um, I received a, um, a notification from YouTube in my Gmail from three of the respective accounts that this video was uploaded to. And I'm going to get into the video that was uploaded and really the context and inspiration for this lesson. And it reads, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. You click this content and there was the video entitled... Um, from Israelite to uh, uh, Baptist Christian, right? Um, and it's a privacy complaint. Now, one benefit of having multiple channels is you, is you pick up things sort of how the YouTube algorithm works. Meaning, a channel could get a video could get flagged on one channel and be fine on the remaining channels, right? Yet this video was flagged on all three channels. Now, I'm not one for assumption, um, but I mean, the video was, was about only one individual. And um, I believe in the spirit that person that the video was done upon is ashamed. Um, in, in other words, he doesn't want people to see the video because the video actually caught traction, which surprised me. I didn't know the video was going to get that much views and and uh, and spread that quickly. You know, that wasn't it was just. To be done on uh, edification sake. It wasn't anything, a personal attack or anything like that. Um, but um, if you noticed, you know, the video was cropped and edited. Meaning, I scribbled out his government name. The person that was once in this truth and became a Baptist Christian. And also cropped the, vi the, the picture. The true picture shows his occupation, where he lives. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I don't see my apostles do that. I don't think that's... Adequate is the word the Apostle Gabar would use. I don't think that's proper etiquette to do something like that. You know, I don't see my apostles do that. I don't see my apostles give out the uh, birth names of Lahab or these other guys, you know, unless that individual per se, like Nate, uh, Nathaniel or Jermaine Grant, you know, if they do it on their own. Cool. But we don't we don't go around doing things like that. We don't release people's privacy information. Now, the scoffers might do that with us, but we're not going to do that back. You know, that's just. That just shows your character of, of really just not having any character. And um, for this person to loop around and go ahead and complain to YouTube and um, not put a dislike, not put a comment or anything, it's kind of sneaky. You know, it's a real Darren move. A Darren is a fee uh, male version of a Karen. A Karen is uh, pretty much like, uh, you know, the person that uh informs the police on you for something that's really not required of that <clears throat> so i take it that this person is ashamed of our lord yahweh shai and the fact that he taught it and in 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 being fearful uh, with his new life is ashamed that people might see what he once did and that might i don't know interfere with maybe friends he has or that's just me speaking in the spirit um and that's a demon you know, how do I know it's a demon? Because it's a demon we all, well, not everybody, but some of us. I myself had that demon when you first come in. When you when you, when you you are about to step in there, you know, you're kind of like, oh, man, this person might see me. I might lose my job, this, that, and the third. But after a while, you really don't give a shit about what, what these people think. Now, let's say you have uh, friends uh, using that word. Uh, I should probably say so-called friends that are heathens, right? It might be an Edomite, East Indian, so-called Chinese. They never did nothing wrong to you, right? Straight up heathen. No Jake, right? And you're cool with them. And, um, you know, you're teaching. You should be in the mindset of, I don't give a hell if a heathen does not want to be my friend anymore. If you're in your right mind. Now, for the sake of your job or your sake of just, you know... Just not dealing with any BS, you kind of just better not want them to know. You know, you just play cool with them, 
Uh, they don't do nothing about you. You don't do nothing about them. You just go about your daily life. So you rather them not know. But in terms of, oh, I'm not your friend anymore. I saw your teacher. Well, who gives a, f- who gives a flying f, a flying f, man. But yeah, this person's ashamed with our Lord, and I'm gonna give the uh, scripture. And look, Brian, look, no one gave out your information, man. Hey, even the apostle Taha, I was watching his latest video. He said we had this one guy. He didn't say a name. He didn't even say a Hebrew name. He said we had this one guy that went back into being a Baptist Christian, man. Anyways, uh, Luke 9 and 62. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words. Now, that's shame. You ashamed. Wait, man. One time we coming from camp and we driving down. I'm not going to say what we driving down on. We driving down, dropping brothers back home. And we saw this dude, he was with a tranny. And he was keeping his distance, he was putting his head down, he was looking around. Pretty much he didn't want to be seen with that abomination. Why? Because he was ashamed. So, when you want this video down, it's because you are ashamed that people might know that you once served the Lord. And that you was out there. Now, if I was to adhere to this complaint... I'd have to take down a lot. I gotta be fair, right? And I have to take down everybody. So many videos. How many people then came and left? Funny story is if you look at this particular channel, GMS to the point, the first video ever put up, the first bro- uh, person to do a show on it, uh, he's not in the truth anymore. So I'm supposed to go back and go through over a thousand videos. Oh, see, that person, well, he's not in it though. So they've got to take this video. We can't be doing that, man. Was the, ed- the video edifying? Yes. Do we give out your personal information? No. So what's the problem, man? That's just a real, just like slimy thing to do, man. And not to leave a comment or dislike or so we could know it's you, you, you sneaky person, you. <laughs> You're sneaky. Sneaky little weasel. Sneaky little rat. All right, let me not even get in that vibe. Anyways, for whosoever, for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the son of man be ashamed. So, and this goes to anyone that's in that mindset of, man, I don't want people knowing what I did and this, that, and the third. The most high, you put the most high to an open shame, you're ashamed of the Lord, the most high, the son of man. When that day come, he's going to be ashamed of you. It says, when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers and his, of the holy angels. So when our Lord come back, don't act like you know him now. When he come back, don't, oh, so Lord, see him. Salakia, man, I went back. Salakia, Lord, Lord, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah. Lord going to look at you like you a funny, funny nigga, man. Look at this silly nigga, you know? That's what the Most High is going to do. And I'm going to say this through the Spirit. A lot of you individuals that have not been judged that once had this truth, the Most High is preserving you for that particular judgment. The Most High wanted that lesson out. You know how I know the Most High wanted that lesson out? Uh, this one that got the privacy complaint is because, man, bro, I did it after camp and I was sleepy. I was tired. I was about to try to get some sleep before work. And the spirit just, I just felt kind of a godly guilt. Like, man, I was supposed to do a show Friday. I linked with the brothers and we didn't get to doing a show because we fellowshiped. It's cool. Nothing wrong with fellowshipping. Saturday was the next day. And I'm like, man, if I knock out now, it's going to, you know, I'm not going to meet my personal quota of how many shows I like to do a week. So I put the show together, fought through that sleep demon. And um, the most I wanted it out. The most I wanted it out. To condemn you. To let you know that, look, I know that you out there, dude. And I got my eyes on you. You right in the sni- my sniper scope. And that goes for all you individuals that this pertains to. First Peter 4 and 16. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, and that person said he was a Baptist Christian, let him not be ashamed. So wait a minute. Interestingly enough, on that social media page, you're not ashamed to put Baptist Christian. But why didn't you put Hebrew Israelite? 
because you're ashamed of it. Or Israel or something about Israel. You didn't put that on your social media page because you're ashamed of it. But you're not ashamed to be a Baptist Christian, right? Now, if somebody's in the truth and you put Christian, Orthodox, Orthodox Christian, Baptist Christian, well, I'm not going to knock you because you're trying to be a serpent. You're trying to be wise. You know, you're not going to put yourself on front street. You know? Not because you're ashamed of the Lord, because you're just using that wisdom to not get hemmed up with these people in the world. But this scenario is different. So do you brothers out there that are, you know, for your businesses or whatever you have going on in your life to get uh, through Babylon, and you kind of have to front like, yeah, you know, put some type of yeah, Bible or something like that, but you you know, not pull a full on truth. Well, that's a different story. Hey, my go-to is I'm Orthodox Christian. That's my go-to. Or I'm Christian. I'm that's my I read the Bible. That's my go-to. I'm not gonna first meet somebody. Yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I go out there on Saturdays. This, that, and it. you know, the Bible says this and that. No, it's not really. You know, that's something you do uh, out of night uh, when you're naive. You know. Yet, if any man suffers as Christian, or the real ter term is a Mashiach, a Mashiachite. Let him not be ashamed. By the way, we're the true Christians. We're the true followers of Yahweh Shah. Not the ones you see in the churches today doing backflips and have women twerking, eating pork, getting razor shape ups, and all that, committing adultery. Those aren't real Christians, man. The real Christians are the ones that are the followers of the anointed. And that's us here, man. Let him not be ashamed. You know, so we're not ashamed to confess that we know and believe in our Lord Yahweh Shai. Again, when it's expedient to do so. You know, if you was to bump into everybody or bump into a, like a, a top official and tell them you're a Hebrew Israelite and this, that, and the third, it's no different than walking around going telling people you're a terrorist. Even though we're not terrorists, guess what? That's what this man labeled us as because we're making sedition against this government. We go out there and protest against this government. Which is what they call treason. So you don't want to run around doing that. Out of wisdom. It says, But let him glory, glorify the Most High on his behalf. And that's what we do. We glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Never ashamed of the Lord, man. Ever. Lord willing, we stay that way. Okay? I'm sure brothers teaching this thing, you've bumped into people that you know. I bumped into several managers at different jobs. And guess what? I kept both those jobs. Because I know the most I controls all that, man. I mean, straight up seeing me and put their head down, act like they ain't seen me. Hey, one of those uh, managers, I think she was a Jake, but she looked like an Edomite. But I know she was a Jake, but she didn't know she was a Jake. She probably thinks she's just an Edomite, you know, because we're cursing out white people. Um, And she, we're cursing out so-called white people. She looks so-called white. Um... You know, but I'm knowing her, she's a Jake, but she don't know she's a Jake. You know what I mean? She's only going by the outward appearance. And I thought, like, damn, like, yo, I got to. <laughs> it's only us two on the job. It was like, man, awkward, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, you just go through it, man. It's not easy at that time, but you just get over things, man. And you, it just makes you stronger. So you never stop teaching. You never stop teaching the word. You know, the most is the one that ultimately controls whether... You lose a position or whatever, you know. Promotion comes not from the east or the west, but promotion comes from the most high. Yeah, so to this to this person, man, I mean, shit, man, I blurred out your name, never said your name, still don't want to say your name. And I rewatched the video, too, to see, like, uh, you know, that I didn't even, I didn't even call you names that brothers put on the comment boards. So, I mean, I really don't see what the problem was, bro. I mean... That's just a real, again, Darren-like move. That's all I'm going to say. Romans 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shah. And um, this lesson really is for the sake of edification because there's many examples of this. Of where uh, they put Yahweh Shah behind them because they're ashamed of the Lord. You know, they don't, they don't want to know. So I didn't, look, I didn't teach that. I don't, yeah. 
You know what's so crazy? Any other philosophy in the world. And uh, yes, this truth is a philosophy. Uh, philosophy means uh, love of wisdom, right? And we this is our particular love of wisdom, right? Um, any other love of wisdom or any other philosophy out there, for the most part, people are not ashamed to say they did it or, or once was... Like, people don't have a hard time saying, yeah, I was a Muslim or, you know, yeah, I followed Hasidic Judaism or... Hmm. You know, yeah, I was in a hotep, and yeah, I was in a black consciousness. But when it comes to saying, yeah, I was a Hebrew wizard, like people are hesitant to say that because a lot of them come in this thing, get an understanding of what, what it's about. And when they leave, their mind gets seared and they're ashamed. Why are they ashamed? Because there's a stigma associated with stopping this thing. You know? It, this this truth mentally it mentally rewires you and when you leave you mentally get fucked up because you have spirits that now could run around in your mind that once when you were in this truth and you had a hedge about you they they didn't have that license you know but once you leave that hedge is gone and then demons just get to plotting the scheme of how they're gonna mess with this individual's mind so, I mean, the only thing wrong that I said in that lesson, in this particular lesson that got flagged, was really, I said, um, or I said, you know, I'm sure this person is not watching this video, the videos anymore, and I guess I was wrong on that. You know? It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shah, for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also the Greek. Greek-speaking Jews, that is. You know? I think if you look at some other versions here, for the Greek, they'll also have Greek-speaking Jews. This is the King James Version. Now, you got different versions. I don't even know but like which one right off the top. But, you know, like if you use Acts 6, the 6th chapter, which speaks, when it goes into all about the Hebrews and the Greeks, certain verses, certain Bible interpretations will tell you that it's Greek-speaking Jews. And I'm sure the same could be done for this verse here. But um, you know, I, I didn't I didn't look up which version uh, had the right interpretation, so I'm not finna to just check through all these different Bible app uh, Bible uh, so many different Bible uh, translations to find out, you know. But when the Apostle Paul was speaking about the Jew and the Greek, he's talking about the natural Hebrew Israelite. Um. And the unnatural Gentiles, right? The unnatural Gentiles are the uh, Hebrew Israelites that adopted Gentile uh, philosophies. But also this right here is really just going to just Jakes that speak Greek. You know, these these Jakes, just because they spoke Greek, um, could have dropped the Gentile state of mind that they were in, but didn't know Hebrew. Kind of like us. Not kind of, like us. You know, we dropped the American philosophy... Right, but a bulk of us, we don't know how to speak Hebrew fluently, man. You know, we do our best, but you know. It says, um, yeah, so let me uh, go to the next scripture. Now, let's hypothetically say that this was an algorithm issue, which I find it hard to believe because it says um the information reported it says um where it says it says it was a privacy complaint, so I mean, I don't know who else but the person this lesson was on would complain about the video. But I don't have any hardcore evidence of that person complaining. So if so let's say let's say hypothetically speak that that's not the person. At least this lesson could be done for edification to those who it pertains to, to those who are ashamed of this Israelite thing, man. They're ashamed of the Lord Yahweh Shah. You know? Put their head down and walk away. They treat they treat this truth like an abomination. Just like the example I gave about them doing. The dude that was walking away and putting his... It was, the, it was dark, too. Dude was keeping a distance from the tranny and putting his head down, looking around. and Because he didn't want to be seen with that abomination, man. These guys are treating this truth like it's some sort of abomination. Like they don't want to be seen with it. You know what I'm saying? 
They don't want even. I didn't even deal with that in my past. Hmm. It's all good though. You know, the Lord don't need you. Matthew's turning thirty-two. Whosoever therefore shall confess me, not be ashamed of me, confess me before men, him will I also confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Now, to the ones that are in this thing, diligent, right? Look, the time's gonna come when your name and your face are gonna be on the mainstream media. Terrorists, you know, look, they could they look how they spin COVID. Look how they spin shit. The media could make you seem like anything they want you to seem like. They could make you an enemy. They could make you unpopular. They could, you know what I'm saying? They could manipulate the masses of the people because the, the masses of the people are really uh, ignorant. You know, a lot of them don't want to de do any deep dive into anything. You know, they're not real free thinkers. They're group thinkers. So the time is going to come where they're going to slander us on national TV and you guarantee you're going to lose your friends, your job, close those close to you, your family. A lot of people that are your friends now are going to become your enemy. Uh, when this does come to pass, you know, so the ones that confess the Lord, like, yeah, man, this is what I do. You just have faith in the most high. The most high got you when the time comes in, the, in front of his father. Now, the ones that fold like wallet to keep a stake in this place, to not lose uh, friends of the world. Well, hey, the most high is going to turn his back on you. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny. Right. So, you know, we've had people come in and come out of this thing that were actually, you know, cool people. No, no, no real beef, no nothing like that. Still no beef, nothing like that. But I've always been of the mindset of if a dude leaves the truth, then fuck him. You know, because... He's not cool, you know, that's not cool because turning your back on the Lord is not cool. If a dude turns his back on the Lord, Yahweh Shah, he will definitely turn his back on me. That's just the best way I could put it. You know? It says, but whosoever shall deny me before men. And by the way, when I say those things, I'm just speaking as a man. I'm just speaking as a man. It says, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. And these are the scriptures speaking. This is not, oh, this is, how, this is how I feel. This is what I think. I mean, I feel the same way as the Apostle Matthew is saying. But, I, you know, it's not really. These are not my words. These are red letter words. The words of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. The only begotten of the Heavenly Father. So that's something you should take absolute heed to. You know? Um. Anyway, the point has been made. And I hope brothers were edified. I'm not going to go through all these videos from all these different channels that I got to find people that were once in the truth and take the whole video down because they in it. I'm just not finna do that, man. So, um, hey, to the ones that are ashamed of the Lord and ashamed of this gospel, the most High will be ashamed of you. His son, the most High and his son will be ashamed of you when he comes back. And you're going to suffer that judgment. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak with Dash. The blindness of the apostles and the elders of great millstone with you well. And salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You are Kim to Sadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.